Hi, I'm Mrs. Dries, and I'm going to talk to you today about how you can take an accelerated reader quiz. Um, you go to the school's website, either search for Denison School or go to a bookmark you might have. Um, you can pick which building you are in, and if you go down to Media Center, you can click on there should be a link for accelerated reader in each of the building libraries. Um, this is the same website you, we use for STAR, so you can say if you are a student, and then log in using your same login. There are the STAR apps for reading and math that you've used in the past. There's also Accelerated Reader and Myon. So if I click on Accelerated Reader, I can search for a book by the title, the author, the quiz number, or keyword. Inside the library books, if you open it up, there will be the quiz number, and that's a very quick way to find your book. I just want to show you there's also some articles that you can read now. So if you want to read A Long Winter's Nap, you can read that and take a quiz. That's worth one point on Accelerated Reader. If you want to read about the most disgusting jobs on the planet, you can read that article, come back, and take that quiz to get one point. There's all kinds of um, articles. There's some book ideas that you might want to try, some award-winning books, some articles, a lot of different things you can look for to help you find a book. I just finished a book called The Unsung Hero of Birdsong USA. So I'm going to type in Unsung Hero. And there's some different titles. If I scroll down, so here's the book. Right here is the quiz number, and if I would have typed in 501990, that book would have come right to the top. Notice there's an EN, that means the test is in English. If there's an SP, that means the quiz is in Spanish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this quiz. Sometimes there's a vocabulary quiz or a literature quiz. You're welcome to take those. Um, they do not give you acceler or accelerated reader points, however. So I'm going to go ahead and start the quiz. I read this book by myself. So I'm going to go ahead and start the quiz. If you had it read to you, I think it will read the questions out loud. So you read the question. and pick the correct answer and then press next. At the end of the quiz, it will ask, how did you like the book? How many stars would you give it? I thought this was a pretty good book. I'll give it five stars. One of the best fours is very good. So you can pick which one you'd like. Then it's scoring my quiz. Ooh. I got seven out of 10. I only got seven questions right. I was taking the quiz very quickly. It will show me these X's and check marks. So if I want to look at one of the questions I got wrong, will it let me? Oh, right down here, I can review my questions. It tells me the right answer and the wrong answer. Oh. He did save him from the bike, but I guess the very first time was, yeah. Look at the right answers and which ones you got wrong. It's good that I only got seven out of 10 because I wanted to show you because I, this book is worth five points because I got seven out of 10, 70%. I only earned 3.5 points for this book. So you will get a percentage of the points depending on how many you had right. You will also be only be allowed to take each quiz once. You do not get three attempts to pass it. So um, when you're finished, you can check your progress or view your TOPS report. Let's see your progress. So um, this in the first quarter, there's 58 days left. Um, here's a goal if you had a goal. Um, to be at how many, four or higher, your points, and this is your um, percentile. My percentile is low. I only got 70, so I'll need to work on that. And it will give you a little summary of your points.
This is a new program. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if you have any questions, and if I don't know the answer, we'll try and figure it out together. Good luck.